Before I answer this question, please let me encourage you to do three things. Subscribe to our channel, like us on social media, and consider joining us as a supporter at patreon.com. Well, this is gonna be a tough one for me as somebody that does have some tattoos. Uh, I've heard it said before, you need to think before you ink. And I would wholeheartedly agree uh, with that statement. There's a verse in the Bible, in the book of Leviticus, and it reads this in chapter 19, verse 28. You shall not make any cuts on your body for the dead or tattoo yourselves, I am the Lord. Now, this idea of tattooing yourselves would be more like to cut yourselves. And uh, the Israelites who came out of seeing stuff going on with the Canaanites, for example, people would uh, do different types of cutting, which was obviously not healthy, uh, or they would get symbols of their fertility goddesses. Uh, there would be certain brandings of that sort. Uh, and I think that we don't want to go and put pagan imagery on our body. Uh, we need to think before we ink. And I think that uh, for myself, uh, it can be a conversation starter. Uh, I'm not big time for getting a tattoo. I, I just don't really care if someone gets it, but I don't think the image that someone should get uh, should be something that would disgrace God. Uh, for example, on my arm right here, this is a simple symbol. It's just an art piece. And it is a person holding balloons with clock and clocks and it just represents that time flies. One of my clocks doesn't have numbers and it's just a reminder that as time flies, be present. Okay, another example right here. That's the symbol of the Trinity uh, that is meaningful to me, obviously, as a Christian uh, that can spark up conversations. Uh, I'm not saying go get tattoos or you have to have tattoos to have conversations. Uh, I would say that sometimes the left brain type uh, that might not have the right brain artistic type, they might be, oh, don't get it at all. They might hate it. Uh, but I would say uh, we should be slower to judge. Uh, there are people who are more artistic. Uh, they like symbols. They like to tell a story through it. And I think that people can do something that is God honoring, that can be useful in conversations and that they're not out trying to uh, be ungodly. Uh, the rise of tattoos is growing tremendously in our culture. And so it's like taking a painting and putting it as a fixture on one's wall. Some people like a painting so much that they'll put it on their body. I think that when somebody has a tattoo, if we're confused by it, just ask, hey, what's with your tattoo? What's the story behind it? And just engage in a conversation and realize that people are just different. Some people like to color their hair. Some people People like to wear jeans when they preach. Others like to wear suits when they preach. And I think the artistic type as well. If there are those that aren't artistic in their expression, uh, they shouldn't be judged because that's the way that they like to dress. We're to dress modestly. And if we're to get tattoos, it doesn't need to be uh, rooted in any kind of paganism. Uh, but rather, we should just look to do it in a way that pleases God. And again, three's a charm. Think before you wink.